the resistance to osimertinib, whether it's used uh, for T790M mutations or the upfront use of activating EGFR, uh, EGFR mutations, are actually very heterogeneous. Uh, you can have second site mutations, the C797S mutations. You could have MET amplifications. You could have small cell transformation. You could have lots of other bypass pathway activations, and you actually, in a, in a limited, in a, in a few cases, you get receptor thiazine kinase fusions, such as alt fusions, red fusions, that can serve as a secondary resistive mechanism. That is why, uh, regardless of uh, how you use osimertinib, it's important to get a biopsy on progression, preferably tissue, but uh, if you have a good liquid uh, biopsy that has a good panel that can detect the major genetic alterations such as amplifications, mutations, fusions, uh, it's, it's highly recommended. It probably should be, uh, should, it's, it's advisable to do that because of the, res of the heterogeneous mechanism of resistance osimertinib. The resistant mechanism uh, from one of the Chinese studies, uh, it's very similar to what has been published in, from the analysis of the Aura 3 studies or the Aura 17 studies. Uh, you see secondary site mutations, you see MAM amplifications, you see HER2 amplifications, and you see some other bypass pathway activations.